What's up, Aquarius? Kings, queens, and everything in between. I'm Austria of Unbothered Queen. And today I will be channeling the collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury in regards to love for a general um, for a general versus message for the 12th through the 18th. Please keep in mind the time frame is only for me. Whenever you see this message, that's when you're meant to see it. Also, if it doesn't resonate, please check out your other placements. Right now, I'm getting mutual energy between you and your person. All right, three more spirits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for staying on the table. I really appreciate that shit. Thank you. All right, we got nostalgia, memories, attraction, Mars. Okay. Karma, balance, justice. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Libra here, a Libra or a Taurus or an Aries. It's something about not being able to nurture this connection or offer this person something here for a lot of you because it's like you we don't really have any memories here with this person with nostalgia memories being in the reverse it's like something didn't really get off the ground with this person hmm okay let's see all right we got celebration gifts abundance Someone is focusing on their money. Also getting a sense like somebody is, um, you're coming back into union with someone that you kind of um, separated from for, for a time here. Hmm. Somebody had unrealistic expectations here and it could have been due to a lack of self-worth here. Also, somebody wasn't being honest about um, the things that they need to focus on with themselves um, when they were trying to get into some sort of situation with you or even when they, if they even offered some sort of relationship, they weren't really focused. So it's not like they wasn't balancing life with love or some shit like that. Regret and repression. This person regrets um, how they treated you or the things that they did in this situation this is mutual energy so this could be your person's energy if it's not yours also it's like this person it's like they're dealing with they're doing shadow work focusing on themselves trying to be better hmm. this person could be drinking hmm. all right we got guilt and sabotage so this person could feel bad because they somewhat or somehow sabotaged this connection and not um, been honest with themselves about how they feel or how they want to move forward with you. Or this could be your energy. Okay, spirit. Give me an intent. All right, longing here with obsession and soulmate here. This is definitely, yeah, this shit is not finished. It's not done yet. Somebody is really thinking about this relationship and what it could have been. All right. All right. And I just saw done too. So somebody could be like, fuck that shit. I'm good. I'm over that shit. I'm not about to play with a motherfucker. interview talk conversation getting on the same page moving physical moving physical location change synchronicities and wish hope praying yearning so somebody is wanting to come towards you to get back on the same page it's like let's start over let's start over i want to start over from the beginning i'm sorry for whatever the fuck i did i wasn't myself let's start over
Somebody is acting like they can do without you or they don't need you. You could feel like they doing the most. Like maybe they posting a lot on social media, acting like everything is fine and they don't care about you. All right, we got arrested, gratitude, New Year's, and cash flow. Somebody could be getting arrested for, for some money that they got. Maybe that PPP loan, I don't fucking know, but something like that. Somebody is also not being grateful to the connection or acting like they give a fuck about the connection. Like they're not um, appreciative of the connection, which is keeping the connection stagnant and it's not going nowhere. All right. Yeah, see, we got... We got relax, clear your mind, tragedy, forbidden love here. And then we got detached. It is, I'm emotionally closed off, so I don't feel my past wounds. So this person could have been triggered by your love, or this could be your energy here. But something happened that made, this, made one of you be detached from this connection. And they feel like, you know, someone kind of stepped away, pulled back their energy. Like, okay, I'm not going to even think about that shit no more. You know, what's the intent here for Aquarius' this person? What's the intent for Aquarius' this person, spirit? All right, we got the high priestess here. The hanged man, Pisces energy. As well as the... Knight of Wands in the reverse here. So that's Leo's energy as well as Cancer's. Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups. This person with the Three of Swords, it could have been some sort of third party situation. This person, okay. Okay. This person could be posting uh, pictures, being in the club, pictures, being out, acting like they live their best life, okay? But okay. It's because this person is hurt. They feel like this relationship didn't take off. It was not a new beginning with you guys. And they feel some sort of way about this. It could have been some sort of third party situation. I just heard somebody could have found out like um, you were dating somebody that was a friend of somebody else. But you didn't know that your friend dated this person or some shit. Some weird shit like that. And you're like, oh, I can't date you. Nine of Cups. It's like you know that this is some sort of soulmate connection here. You feel very strongly towards this person. But, I mean, this person feels very strongly towards you. But they're not speaking up. They're just sitting still. They want to move forward. They want to rush in and tell you. But they're not. They're not. But, and it's, I don't, I don't, hmm. It's like they got a lot of passion for you too. This person could have expressed that I'm getting sexy and shit like that. This person is definitely acting on like they can't come towards you. But they really want to. If you can imagine somebody just standing there like shaking their leg. Like, ooh, ooh, I can't wait. <laughs> like ready to do some shit. Yeah, this person ready, but they can't. Something is holding them back right now. And they not being open and honest and telling you about how they feel and what they want to do with you moving forward. What is Aquarius' intent during this time? Okay, so you could also like one like somebody friend is talking about this other person in front of you. Like whoever dated the person, they talking negatively about the person and make you not want this person or some shit. Something is weird. Okay, so um the hangman again. Shit. With the knight of swords here, Aquarius energy, as well as Capricorns. And then we got the full card, Aquarius energy again, and Aries energy. Okay. So a lot of you are deciding like this shit's not worth it. And you're deciding to move forward to something else because you're like, okay, if you don't want to be with me, if you don't want to take this to a different level, then that's fine. You're not the only, excuse me, you're not the only fish in the sea. Fuck it then. I'm over it, right? Um, others, you trying to figure out how to. 
you trying to figure out how to make this shit work how to come into union with this person because you really it's something about them that really attracts you to them and you really want them right and i don't know if it's on something like you want what you can't have or what you shouldn't have or some shit like this but you feel like this person is for you yeah knight of knight of wands seven of pentacles like you ready to invest put your time and effort into this shit yeah you you really want this person well, let's see all right we got breaking point things are becoming too hard to bear pressure cooker rage ready to explode sacrifice there's a sacrifice i need to make i'm not sure i'm ready and this is the challenge here so this is definitely i'm i'm getting this some hating ass shit like somebody been upset that you may be wanting to move forward with this person regardless of what interactions they have with somebody prior to you because they ain't got shit nothing to do with you you know Like, you could be putting somebody in their place for this person. They love your energy. What's the challenge here, Spirit? Well, Aquarius person. Got the King of Wands here. Sagittarius energy as well as Scorpio. Three of Swords here. And the Strength card in the reverse here. With the lover's card and the sun, okay, Gemini, Leo energy with the judgment card. So it's like this person doesn't know if they want to, like, choose you in order to be happy. Like, they they do love you, but it's like this person doesn't know if they should go towards it. They don't, they see some sort of imbalance. For a lot of you, this person feel like they're going to lose a relationship with some sort of friend or something if they come towards you. Um, I just saw 1222, look that up, it's, um, and 222, but somebody feel like they're going to lose a friend or something if they choose you over um, this person. Person ain't really they fucking friend, no way. It's like somebody is trying to act like they looking out for this person to keep them from heartbreak. Like, don't you, like if you choose this person, you stupid. So it's like they saying a lot, like they getting a lot of, from other people. But this this person not thinking for themselves. Like somebody is telling them a lot of shit about you. Like stay away from this person because they always cheating on people. They not faithful to nobody. Uh, woo, this And this is from their own experiences, baby. I'm sorry, we are not the same. Okay, yeah, they may have did that to whoever, whoever, but they're not going to do that to me. And the fact that we, I didn't even know you dealt with this person and I ended up dealing with this person. That to me means like shit, was your relationship really real? Like the fuck? Or was it just a sneaky link and you don't want to be honest? You want to act like it was some sort of relationship. No, they want a relationship with me. This is the energy that I'm getting. Like, this person is going back and forth with themselves because they're indecisive if they want to move forward here because they feel like they're going to lose a, a relationship. Okay, Spirit. Clear and concise messages. What's the challenge for Aquarius? All right, we got justice here. You could be dealing with the Libra, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. It's like you already know what you want. Yeah, look, strength card with the um, Page of Pentacles. It's like, come on, <laughs> come on. And it's a lot of lust in this relationship too. But it's like, come on, you want to move forward with this person. You want to take take the reins of this situation. Like, yeah, I want you. Let's let's go. Like, I feel like we can we can make something real happen. You know, all you need to do is give me the go. Like, that's what I'm getting. All you need to do is give me the go. All right. This is somebody that you feel like you could possibly make some money with here. But this is definitely someone that you want to choose to have some sort of stable connection with. Like, you wanted to... You want to um, 
what am I to say? Yeah, I just lost off the train. Okay, so it's like you want to have some sort of stable commitment with this person. You want to move forward with this person. You're choosing this person over all of the other options that your ass got. And this person, I feel like somebody mad because of that. Somebody is mad that you are choosing this person over everybody else. Now, granted, this shit was not easy to do, but it's something about this person that makes you like it keeps like attracting you to this person mm. all right we got christmas something significant about this holiday so something could be happening around christmas time here with this person it says soulmate similar friendship romantic partner what did i say it's something about this person that keeps you coming towards them happiness you bring me more happiness than I could ever imagine. What? What? No, I don't give a fuck if y'all dated in third grade. Fuck am I crazy with that? What actions? What actions for Aquarius this person? What actions will Aquarius person be taking during this time? What actions will Aquarius person be taking during this time? All right, we got the Six of Swords here, the King of Pentacles, um, Virgo Energy, as well as Leo, and the Death card, Scorpio Energy. So, yeah, this person is ready. Yeah, Two of Swords, they done made their decision. They ready to change this relationship into something, something deeper. You see what I mean? Like they're they're beginning to manifest this relationship, but for a lot of you, this person may really want to take it slow because again, they're afraid of stepping on somebody's toes. That whatever, but they they're really afraid to step on somebody's toes, so they may want you to wait to make it public or wait to do something like to really um kind of go public or be seen out together or whatever the case may be they may want to wait but this person has made the decision that they're going to choose you like period they're deciding to move towards some sort of stable connection with you here and give you some sort of commitment give you a second chance especially if you didn't do nothing not to deserve a second chance in the first place and it was legit because of you being associated with somebody that they fucking knew All right. Give me the action tip for Aquarius. All right. I got the Seven of Swords here. The Two of Cups. Cup, what the fuck is you talking about? With the goddamn look at this. Can't make this shit up. The death card on both sides in the same fucking position. Both of y'all want a second chance. Both of y'all want to go towards this new beginning with each other. Y'all are done with this other shit. It's like this person, like, I ain't got shit to hide. I don't give a fuck about this. I love this person. This person is my soulmate. We have a high level connection. I didn't have that with nobody else. I don't feel bad, but I don't care about who I hurt. That's what you feel. You like, I don't give a fuck. Who feelings hurt? You mad or no? Nah? You'll be all right. <laughs> You'll be all right. Yeah. It's like you are not in a place where you're going to. Like, people are trying to associate you with shit you did from the past. This person isn't the people that you dealt with in the past. Because you could have possibly been very non committal in the past here, or somebody tried to tie you down here and they couldn't get you. And now that that's why they really fucking mad. But you're ready to give this person an ultimate commitment here with the higher fine taurus energy virgo energy with the um leo all right let's see what sign is coming towards you i'm all about to say signs i gotta do that next see what messages your person got for you my bad y'all All right, I need time for me. You have so many options. I feel like this is th this is this person energy trying to like push you away type of shit. 
Like, I need time for me. You got so many options. Yeah, they say everybody like you. They do, but I like you. What's up? And you like, yeah, nah. <laughs> nah, nah. I ain't got no hoes, nah. I said, I dream about you a lot too much. That connection, boy. I want you, period. And that's all that fucking matter. Ain't nobody got time <laughs> for none of that other shit. All right, what's the signs that Aquarius is dealing with during this time? What's the signs Aquarius is dealing with during this time? Clear and concise messages, please. Thank you. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out. Thank you. All right, we got water. So Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We have the moon, Cancer. And then we have Virgo here. And then we also have Libra, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.